Do you grow daikon radish? Because daikon radish is like the Swiss army knife of plants. I mean, we talk about how cow peas and legumes and peas and beans are great. They ain't got nothing on daikon. Daikon's absolutely incredible. So I'm right here in an area that looks like the deer have been grazing and it's covered with daikon radish. I'm gonna pull up one of these so we can look at it. So daikon radish, they're an incredible radish. They go two to three feet deep. Sometimes they get this thick around. They are biological tillage. They go down and they rot in place and then they leave this long corridor of compost. And what they do is they gather up all, they scrounge up all the nitrogen in the soil around them and they bioaccumulate phosphorus. And then they break down into bioavailable NPK. People are calling them fertilizer radishes and selling them um, as cover crop. They're absolutely amazing. If we partner with these plants everywhere, we're going to see people creating beautiful soils, people creating tons of biomass, and people creating wonderful food. So what do I've got right here is an area that is covered with sorghum and daikon radish and there's some amaranth right there but this area is actually an overflow area for some of the the water that's going into our our leach field and so this sometimes overflows there's a pump here and this area in other words has a lot of nitrogen a lot of phosphorus a lot of um, extra nutrients that sh that could be tied up we don't want to eat this. We want to actually compost all this and return those nutrients back to the soil in bioavailable form for the plants to take up and use properly. So this is a way that we can actually use areas that are maybe part of a failed leach field. Maybe um, you've got areas that are heavy with nitrates from another farm. You could be soaking all that up, pulling all that up out of the soil with a brassica or, or daikon radish or something else like that. And then you could be composting it, breaking it down and bonding it with carbon to lower the ratio of nitrogen in that amount of soil coming through your land and also turning that, you know, that problem into a fer fertility, a benefit. Because you can change it from nitrate to ammonium, and you could lower the rates and then have really, you know, awesome soil, but it really takes addressing the problem at hand. But let's check out some daikon radish here. Okay, so we've got a daikon radish here. It's obviously been grazed. So I don't know if I wanna take this one up, but look at that, just look at that. So it's this thick around. These get two to three feet down into the ground. This is gonna be an incredible thing. I don't wanna pull it up because I want it to do its work. So are you growing daikon radish? And if not, why not? Because there is no reason why we shouldn't all be growing daikon radish. Masanubu Fukuoka used daikon radish as biological tillage, plant tillage, doing the work of moving the soil around, composting deeply, and giving the soil new fertility on a regular basis. So this is possible. This is easy to do. We could be tying up the excess nitrogen so that our cow peas or other nitrogen fixers work harder. This can be grown in the fall, the spring, and summer. So this is an incredible cover crop. I include it in all my mixes, and I hope that you do too. So, daikon radish for the win. <laughs> all right, see you later.